everybody, we Rabbit here, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix Part 28. In the previous part, I know we cut it kind of short, but you know, at least on the bright side, we got to fight Riku, we got to kick his ass, put him in his place, made him run away crying, and we got our Keyblade back, as well as our boys, so that was fun. Besides that, we also did this library section as we talked about the last Nintendo Direct. You know, that was, that was kind of cool too, I guess. And in this part, we're going to get back to the nitty gritty, where we're going to start doing some fights, and we're going to start looking for those four pieces that are going to go into that other door, you know, that had like that sigil. With me as always is Legend of Jonathan, say hello. Yo, what's up guys? Alright, so let's get to it, because like I said, the last few parts have been a little slow except for the Riku fight, so let's actually get in there now. Ah uh, yes, if I remember... Right. Fire! Is it more than just those two? Oh, there's a lot of them. Fire! Fire! I think when they get like stuck, <laughs> when they're falling. The beast was Fire! funny, man. He was just doing that all throughout like the first part of this level. And I like how like literally as we're like, as we're like. Opening the gate, you just see him walking. Alright, so we have to Fire! start by. F if I remember, we have to light all these candles first. See ya! There we go. I, I don't know how the logic. So you turned off the candles. Somehow, the fire that was already existing, it made it turn off. Because you turn on the candles. Like, how does that work? The stone is etched with the thunderbolt. Ah, okay. So with this, with this level makes us use a lot of magic, which is kind of, at least it's kind of interesting, you know what I mean? Yeah. I love magic. Oh crap, that doesn't fall the way down. Alright, so... There we go, that's one of the emblem pieces. Like I said, there's four of them, so that is the first one. Is there any magic or anything? No, it's like Zelda. Oh, there we go, there's another one, it was inside the mouth apparently. Yes, yeah, so this part kind of reminds me of Zelda, you're right. Right, like, everything- I was gonna disappear, that's why. Well, like, everything you do, just kind of, like, it's like a puzzle to get you pieces and stuff. Yeah. I like how they just, like, float randomly. They just decide to lie about themselves, and they just, like, right. dumb. Like, this is the, for instance. Oh, mighty one. Prove your strength by moving or something like that, so... Oh. Shrek is left trigger There you go. This was very Zelda-ish, where just like everything you do is almost like a little puzzle, so that's kind of interesting. Alright. I think a horse for some reason, though. Oh, but it's a trinity, though. Oh, actually, that's an it's, ox. It's a, like an ox for like a bull, huh? Uh, this one makes me laugh. It was just inside so you broke it. No, I like how, like, can you imagine if Donald just falls over, they all just fall off? Right. <laughs> Hold on. Where's that treasure Yeah, where's it? Yeah, where's the chest, actually? Is it somewhere else? I could have sworn it's supposed to be here, isn't it? Mm, maybe it's like the bottom or something. Yeah, it might be in a different like part, because I thought that would have been it. Actually, no, it's down there, yeah. Right there where okay, I like... Okay, real quick though. Hmm. No, we're done. What's up with this though? Oh, there was pots there, that's why, okay. I was going to say, is there another puzzle? But no, there was pots there. <laughs> Alright, so there was one right here. So that three makes two. Pieces. This was three. And la the chest will be four. So yeah, the chest is down here. That was pretty quick. I remember it being more complicated. But then again, I was a kid, so... I'm... So you probably didn't, like, know. But yeah, if you, like, know where they're at, if you kind of remember, it's super or, easy. Or, or if you know that they're in the same room, then it's going to be more, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so that... Oh my god. I'm stuck. You stop moving. <laughs> so that... Opens this. And this little insignia right here is very interesting. We've kind of seen it here and there in the background. Uh, on enemies, yeah. Yeah, so this is what we call a Heartless Insignia, and going forward, this, as well as some other stuff, becomes really famous where people, like, have it on, like, their merch and tattoos and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like a weird heart I, I remember someone with some had vines in car, it. Their, their car. I remember seeing someone have that. Yeah. Alright, so we're putting the different parts of, like I said, the Heartless Insignia is, I think, what it's called. And pretty cool. It's like a weird heart that's a kind of, like, with vines and stuff. All right, and we just opened a very important door, obviously. Why? It was mine. Know this. Oh. 
The heart that is strong and true shall oh win the key. My. Okay. Oh, remember this guy? My we saw him way at the beginning. You're saying my heart's weaker than his? For that instant it was. However, now you became Vegeta from You can become stronger. Oh, this dude's voice it's so cool. You showed no fear in stepping through the door to darkness. It held no terror for you. Plunge deeper into the darkness, and your heart will grow even stronger. What should I do? It's really quite simple. Open yourself to the darkness. That is all. Let your sure. heart, you. You your like being, a become oh. darkness <laughs> itself. Oh, oh. He starts yelling, right? Like, oh, I'm gonna attack. Oh, he's gonna get attacked. Oh, boy. All right. So we made, that's kind of funny. We, as we go through the door, that's happening to Riku. Uh, really quick before we step forward, because I know there's gonna be a lot of enemies right here. Oh, pfft. I like One step. step. I didn't even, like, go out the door. All right, whatever. Anyway, the point I was gonna make is that, as you can see, if you remember what Maleficent has been saying up to now, though, because Maleficent, she's a bad guy, but she has been warning everybody that if you open yourself too much to darkness, that's what consumes your heart. And that's why a lot of enemies, as you can see, they've been getting slain or whatever, because they keep opening themselves to darkness. Here, Riku is so obsessed with being Sora, that even though he should know better, that guy tells him, open your heart to darkness, and that's what he does. So, we're gonna see, you know, what happens when he doesn't do what, you know, Maleficent's been warning him. Pretty good. So, yeah, so as you can see, Riku's definitely, like, you know, reaching his... You know, he's reaching his villain arc, he's getting stronger and stronger because he keeps, you know, not doing things the right way. Yeah. He's just become, like, obsessed with defeating Sora, proving that he's the hero, and, you know, etc. Oh my god, this is the Tai Chi. Get on the head. Yeah, so these guys have to worry, you have to watch out because they're magic. They have like these little minefields right there, and they have like this electric magic and stuff. And these guys rush you. Yeah, so. these things also like dip around really quickly. I don't know. Yeah. They like freak out. That's why the beast he also had a hard time too. He's very emotional. His fights. But you see it just started zipping around for no reason, and it's like okay. Yeah. All right. I guess this is where like they really step it up with like, the heartless. Um, I think they start getting like really strong. As you can see, this guy's even walking. So yeah, so it starts getting hard to even like attack them and stuff. They have a lot of health, as you can tell. There we go. Yeah, so it's a lot of so from here like on the fighting gets a little a little harder. You know what I mean? I feel like we have just been kinda of, like cutting through all the enemies and cutting. Here's where it starts to get like a little bit more. Like, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, I love how Donald's dead. Yeah. You can only- Oh, I like these. They're just basically dragons right there. Yeah. Ah, oh, I'm trying to like, get to this. Really, you know what's really broken in this one? It's really useful. Uh. Genie. Oh, really? Yes, I use them a lot. That's funny. I don't know why. Some of are very broken in this one. Yeah, like I know people, you know that for, you know that Riku fight we had earlier? Yeah. I know some people, they use Tinkerbell there, because they're like really underleveled and they have like, trouble fighting them. And they'll use Tinkerbell to like, um, uh, give you health, basically, so they don't die. Yeah. Dude, did you unlock another, um... Oh no, yeah, you did. I'll say, I think there's supposed to be some other songs. There should be one more, I think. But it's prior to, like... I think it's at the end of this world. No, I remember it was pretty early. I don't know where it would be. Cause I remember I had well, it could be, it could be behind the Trinity. That's why. Okay. Cause I remember that I had it in like, cause later on there. Oh, now Goofy's like, dead. Cause I remember there's bosses that are like later. Yeah. But they're not like near the end of like, it. Mm, gotcha. So near the end of it. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, I remember there was another one. So then, like, yeah, we have, uh, yeah, we have Simba, Genie, Dumbo, uh, 
Okay, like I said, there should be one more. Oh, no! What was she doing? Yeah, I just totally remembered someone else were missing, too, huh? Yeah, you're right, actually, huh? I totally forgot there's an arrow we're missing, actually. I wonder how we missed it, huh? I guess we'll have to see that. Really, like, you get it quick. Yeah, I wonder how we missed it, that's weird. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out, no one. By, by the end, we'll, we'll have all of them on. You know, I've been showing them off, you know, I'll show them off by the end. I won't, like, just, like, skip one. Oh, alright, there we go. Okay, so if I remember, see how we went through that door, and it basically just teleported us back here? So if I remember, don't we just go out, and now we start using the lifts and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we're back at the castle gates. This time we have the whole squad. What we want to do this time, though, is you want to proceed upwards into the castle. Yeah. So, so first step... The yeah, first step, I think, is to go this way. I hate that you have to defeat the enemies first, though. It's so annoying. Yeah, these guys are no fair. They can just, like, zoom around and attack you. Yeah, and then you don't want to follow them because you'll fall off the edge. It's so annoying. It's so easy to fall off the edge. You know what I mean? If you like, follow them. There we go. Yeah, have you noticed I haven't really had. You know how the meme is that like Donald doesn't kill you? Have you noticed I haven't really had trouble with that? I've always noticed he kills you. Yeah, like he always seems to come in pretty clutch for me, honestly. There we go. Alright, so with those guys... Oh my god. I was gonna say with those guys dead, we can proceed, but no, guys! We have to do some more fighting. <laughs> Just like I said, they really, like, you know, they step it up a lot. Alrighty, so yeah, a lot of fighting. They like, really step it up. They're like, nah, nah, nah. You can't just like cut through rooms like you know anything. You have to like earn it. Yeah. It becomes good for grinding though, because you can start running around and just like defeat some of the enemies. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, come on! Oh, no, there's an armor guy too. Man. Great. Yeah. And both my party members are dead. Damn, dude. Kill them? Oh, they just kill them. Why would I kill my own party members? They're already dead. Kill them. They're sad. Goofy and Donald just disappear from their party members. Right, they're just like gone forever. The game automatically goes into like a extremely like difficult mode. Oh my gosh. Alright, wake up guys, come on. We have work too. And then like there's like a bad ending where Mickey's like... Oh yeah, we know we're looking for King Mickey. I mean, it's not that much of a spoiler. Right? I mean, like, can you imagine? Like, he actually shows. He actually shows up and he like punishes us and beats us up. Yeah. Oh my God! You killed Goofy Donald. Oh boy. It's like I don't know. They were being little bitches. Wait, know. didn't this just take us back to the entrance? Yeah. Cause that, that's where it takes you. The other way around, you would have to float or like. So which is the correct way forward, man? You would have to go through another puzzle thing nearby. Yeah. Hold on. Hmm. Okay, because we made it to here. Yeah, what do we do from here, actually? Hmm. I remember... Oh! Go to the left. That door over there? Mm -hmm. And then remember that Oh, weird... that's right, we haven't gone that way yet. There we go, that's what it is. Okay. Hold on. No, we have the library. We've been to the no, library. Right? Okay, but through this, and remember that weird secret passage where we ended up at the whole, like, don't... The, 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 the stupid, uh... The mechanic that took us to the chest room. Yeah. Through there, there's like a, I think there's supposed to be another thing that leads us to. Um... No, it was just the, the 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 little circle. What about the other thing with the, the sigma? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, with the oh. uh, <laughs> the little sign or whatever. I don't know. I, I think there's supposed to be something involving that. In here? No, in like that room. Back over here? Yeah. I thought we had done everything. Yeah, see, this is where it gets kind of confusing, guys. There's like so much like, puzzles and stuff. <laughs> okay, which way do you think? Down there where the little, like, thing is at, the crescent. Because I don't think we actually went in there. Oh, uh, you know what? We actually went in there. You know what? You're right. I think the game tricks you. Hold on. Because you go in the lift shop. 
That's you're so right. I hate. I just remembered. You have to go the here. The cutscene interrupts you. And you think you so? You go. think you went through the stupid door and you did it? You're so right. Oh my that's, god. Well, dude, that's why I even looked at you when you said that. I'm like, why? Like, literally, you're in the other room still. But, but it's not so stupid because I was walking through the door. You walk through the door. It after it opens up, it, it, it interrupts you. So you think you're already on the other side. And you think it just like leads you to like a, a shortcut or something. But no, oh my god, it's so stupid. That pisses me off. I'm like mad now. <laughs>